The United States has recognized the Syrian opposition as the sole legitimate representative of the Syrian people. In an interview on the ABC network, President Obama said that he decided that the Syrian opposition coalition was now inclusive and representative, although he did stop short of authorizing the arming of rebels fighting to overthrow President Assad. Meanwhile, de delegates have arrived in Morocco for the fourth Friends of Syria conference. We've made a decision that the uh, Syrian opposition coalition is now inclusive enough, is reflective and representative enough of the Syrian population that we consider them the legitimate representative of the Syrian people uh, in opposition to the Assad regime. And uh, so we will provide them recognition. And obviously with that recognition comes responsibilities uh, uh, on the part of that coalition. But the U.S. is being careful about which opposition groups it supports, and before recognizing the SNC, they designated another group a terrorist organization. These fighters call their group al-Nusra Front, and they say they're committed to overthrowing President Bashar al-Assad. They're known for launching some of the biggest attacks against the regime and its security forces in the past year. The U.S. says al-Nusra is trying to exploit the country's civil war. Analysts say al-Nusra's new designation won't have a great impact on the conflict, but it could limit the U.S.'s influence. I think it has some delusions in thinking that it, by declaring it a, a terrorist organization, it can somehow sideline uh, it uh, from playing a role. The U.S. is laying out its position on whom it thinks should and should not have a role in a post-Assad Syria. Up until now, officials in Washington have been reluctant to support the SNC, saying they didn't know who the members were or what their goals were. But now officials say they're pleased with the SNC's progress and they're ready to support them. President Obama's announcement came on the eve of a meeting of Syrian opposition leaders and their international allies in Morocco. While refusing to provide arms to the rebels, his recognition is a diplomatic boost to the anti-Assad political cause. The National Coalition is an umbrella group formed last month in an effort to unite groups fighting the Syrian government. And while the U.S. supports the coalition, it's attempting to isolate other Syrian opposition groups. On Tuesday, Washington slapped sanctions against leaders of al-Nusra Front. It says the group is a front for al-Qaeda in Iraq. The Syrian Opposition Coalition is the legitimate representative of the Syrian people. So says the U.S. President ahead of the Friends of Syria conference in Marrakesh. But Washington also wants the coalition to keep its distance from the jihadist al-Nusra Front, newly placed on the State Department's terrorist list. We're certainly sending a message both, as I said, to Syrians and to our partners that this is a group that we think does not wish Syria well, does not have the same goals and aspirations that the Syrian people have. They have a very different agenda and everybody should beware. The U.S.'s Western allies have offered varying levels of support to the coalition, the EU being cautious, France and the U.K. more forthright. EU accepts the coalition as legitimate representatives of the Syrian people. We continue to work uh, and support the work of Special Envoy Brahimi and we are very concerned that the situation in the country is becoming worse every day. La France, a été la première... France was the first country in Europe to recognize the coalition. So the fact that the 27 European foreign ministers invited the president of the coalition for talks is a new stage of recognition. The conference aims to develop ways of strengthening the recently formed coalition and of preparing for the transition should Bashar al-Assad fall from power. A more impending concern is mobilizing humanitarian aid as winter sets in amid a growing refugee crisis.